preview. Hi, I'm Phil Lemper with the new Proc Tits and Misses for the first day of June 2011. I am so excited. Summer is almost here. Yay! Each week, we select five new products for review. Our reviews are not paid for, nor can they be bought. We start with the lowest score first. A miss is 75 and under, and a hit is 85 and above. And first up this week is Melita Cafe Collection Gourmet Coffee Blanc et Noir Light and Dark Roast Extra Fine Grind. Could they make this name any longer? A number of years ago, Mr. Coffee, then the best-selling brand of coffee makers, introduced their own brand of coffee. Anybody out there ever try it? Well, it wasn't very good, so probably not. Melita, whose coffee filters I swear by, has made the same mistake. This blend of both light and dark coffees just does not make it. There's no aroma, very little flavor, and nowhere on the package does it identify where the coffee comes from, beyond saying that they select premium high-grown coffees from the finest coffee-producing regions. Now, coffee drinkers today want to and deserve to know more. Retails for $6.99 for 11 ounces. Total score is 82. Willoughby's Classic Cheese Crackers? Well, it's another gluten-free product this week, and these crackers are made from potato starch, corn, and rice flours, corn starch, and potato fiber. The crackers are nice and crisp, but frankly, although real cheese is the second ingredient, they've used Edam, which is frankly a little bit bland for a classic cheese recipe, at least for the American palate. They should use a cheese with just a little bit more bite. Each cracker is 24% real cheese. That's the good news. And the crackers are imported from Greece, and each cracker has less than a gram of fat. Retails for $3.99 for a 3.9 ounce package. Total score is 83. Miso and Easy Miso Broth Concentrate Original Flavor. It's our first hit of the week. It's a different way to make miso soup. Just one tablespoon of this concentrate in three quarters cup of water, and in just minutes, you'll have all natural miso. While traditional miso soup usually contains tofu, this will give you a chance to experiment from portion to portion, adding mushrooms or other vegetables, even seafood or chicken. This is one of those few misos that are actually produced here in the U.S. One jar makes 24 servings. Servings. The taste is authentic, which is to say it's a little bit more salty than I'd like. Retails for $4.99 for a 13.8 ounce container. Total score is 85. Heartland Gluten-Free Wheat-Free Fusilli, it's a hit. Now, you don't have to be following a gluten-free diet to love this pasta. I tried this corn and rice flour Fusilli, both plain and with tomato sauce. Delicious and not chewy at all. I doubt anyone can tell the difference. It's imported from Italy, and while it's about double the price of a wheat-based pasta, it's a terrific alternative. Keep in mind that recipes with rice flour, as they cool, get gelatinous, so serve this pasta hot and not to be used for chilled salads. Retails for between $2.49 and $2.99 a package. Total score is 89. Simply 7 Hummus Chip Sea Salt Flavor, it's a hit. Now these are shaped like scoops versus chips, but they're extraordinary. A recipe base of chickpea flour, rice potato starch, and corn flour creates a light, crispy, delicious flavor. About 30 chips equal 130 calories and just 5 grams of fat and 2 grams of sugars. Now back to the shape. It looks more like a pasta than a chip, but actually pretty smart. It'll hold the dip, cheese, or any other topping perfectly. Retails for between $2.99 and $3.49. Total score is 91. Thanks for watching. New Pro Tits and Misses uploads right here every Wednesday on our network online and on your mobile phone. Follow us on Twitter, check us out on Facebook, or download us free on iTunes. For the complete product detail and information on today's products, just log on to supermarketguru.com.